Well, there's nothing like combining art and travel, and it's a perfect blend at Union Station. Rasha Goel has more. With the vast array of diversity and cultural groups in the city, it's no surprise to be experiencing some tradition at Union Station. After all, why not enjoy some culture as you navigate through the City of Angels? And for these performers, who are from a village in Belize called Juana Aragua, they say it's a way to keep their culture alive for those who are unable to go back home during the holiday season. Besides being spiritual, it's a war dance. And that's one of the reasons you see the mask, you see the sword. Uh, if you look at the black, today we're wearing black and white because it's a way we show that we mourn the past year, welcoming the new year. This is just one of the many events Metro Art has put on. Through the program, they present music, dance, poetry readings, and film screenings at Union Station. Metro Art has been adding artistic and cultural events to Union Station for going on five years now, and it's part of a larger effort to make Union Station a cultural destination. It's very important to transfer cultural practices and traditions to the next generation because if I don't do it, I always tell myself, like, who's going to do it? And it's a way to promote the visual arts while promoting ridership and connecting people throughout the city. I'm Rasha Goel for LA This Week. For a list of other Metro Arts events, visit metro.net.